morning all how's it going i haven't done a vlog in fucking ages if i'm honest i think the last one i did was ben's father's day thing and that was literally just a father's day thing so i thought i'd come on and say hi oh oh and yawn at you because that's quality content isn't it um today is the 15th of july um i thought i'd give you a bit of a house update and just have a little chat I had some i found out some really sad news this weekend actually we um uh, i'm not putting this in the title or tagging this person or anything because it's not about i'm not trying to i don't know i'm not trying to use it for anything but it's just made me really sad um and just makes you realize that life is short so there's this um youtuber called emily hartridge who i've watched for absolutely years um and we followed each other on instagram and we've chatted quite a lot over the last year and she's just always really lovely and kind and just really honest and no bullshit like literally no bullshit um and i found out she died this weekend really suddenly she was hit by a truck in london and died at the scene um found out yesterday when i was scrolling through instagram and i said it's just so sad like it just makes you think like how short life is it's just ridiculous like i think like i've watched i watch her stories every single day and like i don't know it just really hit me like it's very very odd i'm not normally one to um be like affected by sort of like celebrity deaths i always feel bad like some celebrity deaths hit me really hard like rick mayle really got me robin williams still gets me and then anybody that's got like a family or i don't know like certain things like it doesn't it doesn't ever like i don't play on my mind or anything but it just when the initial hit when you initially hear about it it just really sort of gets you but yeah like i kind of read it and i was like that can't be true i was only chatting to her like a week ago and it's like how can that how can that be true like oh it's just so sad um and i think as you see someone online all the time you kind of you sort of get a sense that you know them in a way like um that you've seen pictures like of her with her family and her boyfriend and it's just so i don't know it's just hit home that life is short don't let other people dictate how you live your life kind of thing like if you want to do something do it if you want to love somebody love them just don't let anyone else make you feel obviously if you're doing something illegal don't do that that's naughty but just be who you want to be is basically what i'm saying don't let others I don't know how others interpret you or how others feel about certain things that affect how you live your life. If you want to love someone specific, love someone specific, regardless of what other people will think. Be you. Um, yeah, it just really, I don't know. I haven't really stopped thinking about it since it happened. Um, I keep going online just to check to see if maybe it was a hacking thing or something, just kind of hoping that it's not true. But it is and i just feel really horrible for her family and yeah i've always been somebody that kind of this is why i don't watch the news i haven't watched the news since i was about 14 or 15 when um sarah payne was taken and holly and jessica and um, these are little girls that were abducted and murdered in the uk and i was only like 14 or 15 this is when my anxiety started and i still have the newspapers from the days when the girls were found when their bodies were found because even at the age of like 14 or 15 whenever i tell anybody this they're like that is fucking dark for a 14 or 15 year old but i kind of looked at it like at that time that i kept the newspapers because i was thinking if that was one day my child i'd want people to remember them if that makes sense and so i kept the newspapers oh i don't want to set myself off crying fucking hormones <laughs> um yeah and it just i don't know 
it just I don't really know how to describe it it just makes you realize that life is short so just don't waste it basically don't waste it <sighs> but I'm not crying you're crying <laughs> um anyway I am gonna quickly go and tidy my kitchen and then I will show you the kitchen because the kitchen is nearly finished the dining room is nearly finished um yeah I'll talk to you in a bit oh yeah okay so I'll show you the DIY bits that we've done if I can open the door Bob Bob you're going there go in there go in there basically I painted the front door it's like a dark grey it was white so I did that And then dining room, the floor's done. Bob up on a bed. Go on, no one's there on a bed. He thinks there's someone at the door now. Nobody's at the door. Bob up. Nobody's at the door. Do a little update on Bob Bob as well. So he's finished his tablets. Because we took him to the vets and it turns out he's got arthritis. So he had two weeks worth of tablets, which he didn't want to eat. Um, and then he's we've also got him on glucosamine. So he's having glucosamine once a day on his dinner. Um, and it's definitely made a difference. Like you can see he's not limping anymore. Um, he's still very tentative when he gets on and off the sofa. But he's much happier. He's a good boy. And he just wants to play now all the time. And I keep having to tell him he's 10. You're 10. You've got to slow down, old man. But we need to get some rugs because the vet said um, the floor we've got, like the tiles and the laminate isn't good for him. So, your bum stinks. Go away. On the bed. Do you want a biscuit? Get him, you get him a gravy bone. Oh, Christ. So this is his glucosamine that he's on. It's from Amazon. Um, the vet said it's good because it's got this extra thing in it, which is the one that helps. So he has a teaspoon of that every day. Um, let me just get him some treats. What's this? On the sofa. Come on. No running. On your sofa. Good boy. Sit. There's some crazy eyes, Bob Bob. I'll put them there for you. Oh, so, lizard's there. We've put him on a bug strike at the minute. He's not allowed bugs until he eats his salad. So, dining room, floor's done. We've got a blind up. I absolutely love, I got it from B&Q. It was 60 pounds, so it's quite expensive, but I love it. Ben's finished the cupboard. He put the coving up. Um, we've got shelves, it's still full of tools and stuff at the moment, but um, we have shelves, new dining table, got it from Gumtree for 70 quid, and then chairs I got off eBay, um, day beds there, so then people stay over, we can just move the table, pull the bed out, and then there's a bedroom for them, we put a curtain up just as a bit of privacy, we'll, we'll get a new one, um, we changed the strip light for a little hanging one but we obviously need to repaint the ceiling and we need a brighter bulb because it's not very bright um we're painting this wall and this wall this color which is kilkenny it's a b&q one it's new cheapy but i absolutely love it and then all oh, this wall's finished the pantry um we took out the shelves at the end and we put the little freezer in here so the freezer is now living here and then we've got um where we can store like the hoovers and stuff down the side the toilet is painted and he's going again um it needs one more coat but yeah that is painted now so um that looks much brighter the utility room is the same this room is different because the island is now here we're getting rid of those two stools We've got the two normal ones, and then I've got my bookcase with all my crap on it, um, which I will show you in a bit. And then as we turn around, we've got the cupboards on the wall. I don't think I've shown you those before. 
so I feel like they've just made such a difference um, to the room. So we've got like tea stuff and glasses, and then we've got bread and snacks and juice. Um, oh, this doesn't want to shut. I've got too many watsits. Let me just chuck them in. So yeah, that is that end. I really feel like it's made. It's just turned it into a kitchen. Uh, we picked the tiles, which I can show you. We are going for these tiles. Which I absolutely love. I think they're gorgeous against the contrast between the black and the white. And we're having a black upstand. Um, I'll quickly show you my bookcase because I've had so many people saying they want to see what's on it. So we've got cookery books. They're all cookery books. Some of these are cookery books. Photo albums. Ben and his sister when they were little. And then my creepy shelf. So we've got Cherry, my doll, lots of bits and box of goth. Um, they don't want to focus, there we go. So this is the girl from the ring and Pinhead. Some fake Ikea plants, some real cactuses. My beautiful new doll Blanche from Jawline Jewelry. Um, this, because I've got a skull head vodka. This is a um, like a devil skull that was chili sauce that was Ben's. Some cactus candles. My cunt mug, my Gemma Carell, that's me, she drew that when I used to work at the coffee shop. Um, yeah, she did that for me, which is lovely. Um, a wax melt, this little box Ben got me when the girls were little. Um, this is another thing from Gemma. Um, this is a My Little Pony when we did Secret Santa one year um, and he's got all my tattoos. So it's got like my Lenore tattoo, skulls, black nails, my Gladys tattoo, and then it's got like earrings that I used to have and eyeliner. So that's really cool. And then we've got these are just mine and some of mine and Ben's books. I've got some skull things. I've got my um, accessory cemetery coasters up here, which I'm not going to use as coasters. I'm going to put them along the wall up there. Um, yeah, and then my stag head, which um, people keep asking. Mum found it in a skip, so I can't help us to where you can get it from. And then I've got my favourite bit of artwork that I own that my my friend Rosie gave me for Christmas one year on my birthday. And it says, you're my favourite bitch to bitch about other bitches with. And this is me, and I'm saying cunt, and that is Rosie, and she's saying bitch. And I just love it. So, yeah, that was an update on the house. Um, I don't know if anything's changed in the garden. We made a flower bed. Um, all of the plants, we've got loads and loads of tomatoes growing. We've got hundreds on here. Green beans, raspberries, um, and the girls' new climbing frame which is awesome I'll link it it's from Dunster House um, it's got a little den underneath Ben's mum put this bit on got a little den and then a slide and then it's got a climbing wall on this side and we put the giant pirate flag on and we got more flower bed there that we made it's full of weeds oh. yeah i think that's it for an update we've got someone coming around in a minute we've got a little baby coming around haven't we um yeah i'll talk to you later so, my friend's been round, had some cuddles with a newborn. She's three weeks old, she's delicious. Um, I'm now making cheese and potato bake for dinner. 
This is like a five litre saucepan, it's a giant. And I've got like nine tons of potatoes in it. Um, the girls are biking outside. They just keep going past asking for high fives. You just have to stick your hand out and high five them. Um, Ari can bike now. She's learned how to actually cycle. Ari, show me how you bike. Yeah, you do. Good job. Go on, little fish. Hi. Hi. Um, so, yeah, that's what we're doing now. I've got loads of videos to edit, but I've just got no motivation whatsoever. I'm just knackered. Um, I don't remember feeling this tired when I was pregnant with the girls. You have to excuse the state of my face. I'm just like, I haven't done skincare or makeup or hair in ages. Um, so, yeah. Hi, lizard legs. What are you doing? What are you doing, my gorgeous boy? What are you doing? Who's so pretty? Kickoes. Kiko. Who's the good boy? You're the good boy. Um, I'll show you when the cheese and potato bake is done because it's so freaking good. We've not had it for ages. I've only just started to re really like eat cheese again. Um in the last few weeks so i'm excited to try it and see if the girls like it i will show you in a bit the cheese and potato bake is ready so it's just mash with salt and pepper garlic granules onion granules milk cheese and then mozzarella shoved down into it and then more cheddar and more mozzarella on top and then i'll cook it and you just serve it with peas and green beans and ketchup and it's amazing i might cook ben some meat with it as well but i will have mine veggie mika has been um stealing the mash she loves it what are you doing little fish oh you got something in your welly she got something in her welly You okay? You got your face in your welly by the looks of it. You welly. Oh, excuse me. So, uh, I will show you the potato bake when it's cooked, and then we might come back and do some more. I'm just wiping mashed potato all over my face. Um, vlogs tomorrow. Oh, I promise I will look less trampified tomorrow. Uh, 